Welcome back to the Vlogmadon episode five. Today, um, I'm just trying to do kind of more of a chill. Well, it's been a pretty chill period. I'm, I hope you guys fast is going well. Hope your Ramadan is going well. Hope life is good for you right now. So let's go ahead and put the new day on the chalkboard. I'm gonna go ahead and erase yesterday's number. What? goals have you guys accomplished so far this month like or what have you started on what goals have you started on this month for me the goal of getting my prayers in order and praying them on time is going pretty well alhamdulillah i always pray all my prayers every day but my problem was praying them on time and not delaying them so that goal is going pretty well for me personally. So look at us getting it together. Okay, so what have you guys been working on that you see yourself going in a positive direction? Okay, now it's focused. Stay with it, chalkboard. Stay with it. Looks a little ragtag, but it's okay. It's fine. What else, what else, what else? Oh, Quran. So reading Quran, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. That's like a fail right now. Like, it's not that I'm not reading at all, but I'm not meeting my goals that I wanted to do. I wanted to read some Quran after every prayer, but that isn't happening. So I think I'm going to kind of adjust my goal to what will actually work for me, which is reading a certain amount of pages each day. I don't know why that changes it for me, but that's what I'm gonna be trying to do and tracking it in my journal. And yeah, honestly, as far as content for this vlog, I didn't really know what to do with myself right now. Since we have day five, let's go ahead and move out of the kitchen. But yeah, today what I've been doing is just listening to different lectures on Ramadan sins and making toba. I was just listening to one and I kind of already knew the information but it's good to have a refresher. I was listening to a lecture talking about how every time you do a sin a black dot is put on your heart and every time you do a good deed a dot of light is put on your heart and how the heart can be consumed by bad deeds and the heart can turn completely blackened or without light. It was just expressing the importance of when you commit a sin, you should go to Allah and make Toba or repentance and ask Allah to forgive you for that specific sin with sincerity so that that dark spot can be removed from your heart and a good deed um, or a dot of light can be put there it was really good and now i'm just listening to this kind of like a random video on youtube it just says like motivational reminders for ramadan or whatever so i'm kind of listening to that i noticed it's a little easier for me to listen to stuff than read but i do want to do some more reading today i've been doing like a little bit of reading each day so at least that's good but yeah okay so as far as sahur this morning we missed sahur again not really my fault if we're being honest um <laughs> i'm gonna blame ahmed for this one <laughs> and he's gonna see this and be like girl bye but <laughs> literally i i was up it was like 3 30 a.m and fudger for us doesn't come in until like 5 10 5 10 15 or something like that so i was up and i was like all right ahmed do you want me to just go ahead and just start sahur from now like it was like 3 30 and i know it's like kind of early but whatever i was like i'm up right now i'm really tired but i'm up right now and i can go ahead and make us sahur and he didn't want me to go ahead and make us sahur he wanted me to come lay down with him because he was super tired and i was just like but we're up right now let's you know go ahead and eat something whatever he's just like i'm so tired i need to get in bed uh, <laughs> and so 
he was like, come get in the bed. And I was just like, but I want to whore. <laughs> and he was like, we'll just take a nap or whatever. And he was like, I'll wake us up for Sahur. Bruh, did not wake us up for Sahur. Bruh. I was really sad. Because yesterday's iftar at the masjid, and may Allah bless whoever cooked, but it wasn't really for me. I ate it even though it wasn't really for me. But on top of that, it like really wasn't that much food at all. So by the time I got home from the masjid after Tarawih, I was just really hungry like I was super hungry but I didn't eat anything so to be super hungry before I even went to sleep and then miss Sahur and then <laughs> I guess you can imagine how hungry I am right now at this moment because I am very 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 hungry Ahmed was talking about going to he said an Indian masjid tonight and he was asking me if I wanted to come and I don't know about anybody else, but I get a little skeptical when people use like a certain group before a masjid. Like it's not just the masjid. People refer to it as like the Indian masjid or the Pakistani masjid or this, this, and that. Like I don't really like that. It kind of turns me off because I'm like, okay, I don't know. It feels like excluding and segregating and all this stuff. And I don't know so I feel a little weird about it and then if it's like gonna be majority one type of people I always feel weird about it so yeah I don't know about that but current situation let me put on some more chapstick y'all have probably noticed I mean my people who have been with me on this channel for a long time already know that I'm obsessed with having moisturized lips but if you don't know me you're majority of the time gonna see me with my lips looking super moisturized because I'm obsessed like I hate for my lips to get dry at all like right after I eat I like moisturize my lips and of course before I eat they're moisturized or whatever but I just cannot stand dry lips and um what I normally do nobody cares but I'm gonna tell you anyway what I normally do is I use chapstick and then I put on top like a clear um, gloss layer because when I just put on the chapstick, it disappears way too fast. So I put the glossy layer on top. So if anyone didn't know that and they're like, why is this girl walking around with shiny lips? That's why, because I can't stand that when my lips touch their like sandpaper or something. So little... <laughs> Mimi fact. <laughs> All right, I'm being weird. <laughs> on the darkness that will come in, and that light is something that is there that, that we will see on the day of judgment. In various hadiths, the Prophet has talked about light. For example, when you do wudu, a person who walks in the darkness to Isha Salah and Fajr Salah, Rasulullah has told us, give them good news of complete light on the day of judgment. So, light is something which again and again has been mentioned in the ahadith for obeying Allah Azza wa okay? Light is something that is there. Zulumat, for example, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said, Al-Zulmu, Zulumatun Yawm al Forms of oppression, any forms of oppression, type of unfair treatment, turns into darkness. It will turn into various forms of darkness on the day of judgment. This is a sahih hadith in this world, they're receiving darkness. And that darkness will manifest in an actual form for them on the Day of Judgment. Art will continue to have white dots onto it. Xinjiang is the region where the U.S. says China has put up to 2 million people, nearly all Muslims, in detention camps over the last few years. Activists say Beijing has done that to try to eliminate Islam within its borders. NX detainees have told CNN they were tortured inside while undergoing political indoctrination. Adiba and her family are Muslim. Her husband Yestin says a relative told him his wife was put in such a camp while his daughters were sent to live with distant relatives. He hasn't heard from any of them in nearly two years. <laughs> والتوفيق لما تحب وترضى يا ذا الجلال والإكرام
اللهم عنا في على الصيام والقيام اللهم اجعلنا ممن يصوم رمضان ويقومه ايمانا so i read some quran actually i'm gonna keep reading i kind of forgot i turned on the camera to film me while i was reading and my camera was like hey girl <laughs> so i'm probably gonna keep reading and maybe read something else from over there another islamic book or maybe i'll just take one with me when i leave the house but getting some pretty heavy reminders here reading the quran in english i would like to try to read the quran in arabic but i just like i'm not even sure if i can read like i can kind of read but not really like i learned how to read arabic when i was like well i want to say i learned my letters when i was young 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 like pretty young and then i learned how to read in like the fifth grade and now i'm just kind of sometimes i get it sometimes i don't i'm not very good with my pronunciation sometimes i'm like dang these letters sound pretty similar in my head but i know there's a difference like it's like that so i don't know i want to try to read in arabic and i know that there's a lot of blessing in struggling to read but i don't know what it is with me like i need to try i need to try inshallah but yeah um i'm gonna keep reading for now لوجهك الكريم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم سلمنا لرمضان وسلمه لنا وتسلمه منا متقبلا وجعلنا فيه من الفائزين يا رب العالمين اللهم هل علينا شهر رمضان بالأمن والإيمان والسلامة والإسلام والتوفيق لما تحب وترضى يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم عنا في على الصيام والقيام اللهم اجعلنا من من يصوم رمضان ويقومه إيمانا واحتسابا لوجهك الكريم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم سلمنا لرمضان وسلمه لنا Oh yeah, I'm gonna move down a yeah. little bit. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna save it, but then they come. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So cute. Hi guys. So I'm heading Kroger and. I have to get some detergent and some um, softener and we just left the masjid or whatever so that's what I'm up to right now and Ahmed and his nephews are here too um, yeah Ahmed and his nephews are here and they're supposed to be coming to our house and I guess they're gonna like play games or something I don't know I'm just trying to find my freaking detergent and softener <laughs> but anyways um yeah so I don't know what I should get let me figure that out okay so I'm gonna get some spray that's glass and surface 
antibacterial all purpose. What's the flavor? The flavor. Citra they don't have the one I normally get. What's this? Um lime and sea salt. I'll just get lavender, but they got pink grapefruit. Why am I stuck on this decision right now? Should I just get two of these so we'll just have some? Sure. They're like 340. Ah. Should I get grapefruit or lime sea salt? Nice outfit there. It's blurry yeah. though. <laughs> Which one should I get? I guess lime sea salt. Okay, I'll get these two then. I guess. All right. Oh, should I get some freaking sponges? They're six dollars for a pack. Do we need them? Probably. I think I just used our second to last sponge or our last sponge. All right, finished at the store. Now we're heading home. So I'm blurry. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm home. Whoa, what is going on? Oh. Uh, I don't know if I got bit by, okay, I can't use that excuse for everything, but I think I got bit by a mosquito or something. But anyways, yeah, I'm home. And um, I'm probably about to eat some snacks, drink some water, um, edit, and then probably between editing and Sahur, I will read some Quran, because I might as well just stay up. I'm trying to eat Sahur. I am trying to eat Sahur, okay? So, I'm gonna just stay up and everything. Why is he in here? What is he doing? Who are you? Oh. <laughs> oh, what are you about to do? I look like a, I don't know, like a weird. I'm probably a total dork for this, but I did not know about like the overdrive and the libby app for borrowing ebooks and audiobooks from the library and i recently heard about that and i can't remember if i heard about it from one of you guys or not i think I, it might have been one of you guys but yeah so now that i found that a whole new world has opened up for me the only thing is the holds take like forever to come off for the books i want <laughs> it takes like weeks on week I'm trying to get a couple audiobooks i'm trying to get becoming by michelle obama and a couple other ones that I really wanted to read. Catch on to that sooner. But anyway, so let me choose my comment of the day from the comments that have been posted on day four. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> let me stop. But anyways, let me go to yesterday's video or is it yesterday? Today? I don't know what's going on. So y'all, honestly, today Today's video had a lot of comments and thank you guys so much for all the congratulations on reaching 3k like congratulations to y'all for being so awesome I got a comment from Naomi safe I love her channel I remember when I was younger I used to watch her channel so much and mashallah she has so much beneficial content <laughs> this is a moment for me I love her channel from Mubarak. oh man there's two that I really like oh man okay so for the comment of the day, I'm gonna have to go with K. Honestly, it's a really biased pick today because she's an OG, so how could I not pick K? Um, but yeah, she says, Salaam alaikum, wa alaikum salam. Congratulations on 3K. I guess you can call me your OG sub because I used to read your stories on Wattpad and watching you ever since. You came a long way and I really enjoy your videos and keep it up. Thank you. I love, love, love hearing from my OG subscribers who know about my Wattpad because that's how you know you're OG. Because the first people who subscribed to me on YouTube came from Wattpad. So I love y'all and I love you. Oh, my flower is gone. Whatever. <laughs> I was being extra anyway. <laughs> I can't help it. It's like I can't pick one, but the other comment is from Fatima Addy. And I remember always seeing your name, sis. She said, yay, congratulations on 3K. You're so not annoying. <laughs> we love watching you do what you love doing. Personally, your fruitful use of Ramadan Day so far has motivated me today to do more because I haven't been on top of my game this year. Keep it up and just remember to constantly check yourself and renew your intentions with regards to performing acts of you better on camera you know just in case i hope you get what i mean 
actually that's a the reason i chose that one is because that is a very good reminder like it's kind of it's kind of hard when you're trying to just show people your everyday acts of worship but then it's like you don't want the intention to get mixed up like you don't want to have the intention of trying to do acts of worship so other people could see it or whatever you want your intention to be for a law while doing these vlogs i really have to make sure i'm constantly 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 checking myself and making sure that i'm doing what i'm supposed to do for a law obviously and it's not like i'd consciously be like oh i'm doing this for my youtube subscribers like no you just have to go into yourself kind of and be like okay this is for a law and you know even when i record things a lot of the time like this is really expose myself but when you guys see like prayer and stuff like that either i'm just making a sinner prayer or i'm reenacting how i pray so people can see how muslims pray and also just for it to be inspiring because to actually like a lot of time record myself while i'm actually praying my daily prayers is a little it's kind of strange so i just try to like tie in prayer in the vlog so after i pray my regular prayer i'll probably record what i would actually do in prayer like the different parts of the prayer and kind of get you know shots of it so that people for example who don't know mu what muslims do on the daily will see what prayer looks like so yeah there's that and then like when i'm reading a lot of time i show you guys clips of me some of it will be me actually reading and i'll just other times i'll just flip through so y'all can get the idea that yeah she was reading quran today like um but like today's clip of me reading quran i was actually just sitting there reading quran to the point where i forgot i even had the camera on so yeah my um memory has ran up because of that but or ran down but yeah thank you for the reminder sister fatima and i get exactly what you're saying because it's like so important i'm constantly trying my best to like check my intentions and make sure that everything i'm doing is for a law because the hard thing about youtube a lot of the time when you're showing how you worship and all of those things is that you don't want it to become something you're doing for the people or showing off or any of those things you're just because even in the quran it mentions people who just do acts of worship to show off to other people or make other people think that they're like you know this great muslim or to get praise and stuff like that when intention period is for a law and to please a law so yeah i just wanted to say that because it is something i constantly have to make sure i'm doing you just gotta make sure the intention is in the right place it's especially during this month like because your girl's over here trying to get her blessings thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys <laughs> next time Sarah and peace out until tomorrow. Uh -huh.